in its simplest form, that a disciple is a follower of Christ. He is someone who has come to faith and trust and has set out to follow the Lord in obedience, uh, having come to the wonderful understanding that Jesus is all who he claimed to be. And when he died on the cross, uh, it was for our sins. So a disciple isn't a special category of Christian. A disciple is a Christian. Uh, it's interesting that in the New Testament in Acts, it talks about the disciples were first called Christians in Antioch. They were disciples, and then the name of Christian was attached to them. So a disciple is at its simplest, a, a follower of the Lord Jesus. And the Lord says there's three marks of his disciples. There's more that could be said, but there isn't less. John 8, 31, he says, if you abide in my word, you are truly my disciple. So one of the marks of a disciple is that he wants to learn and grow and obey the teaching of the Lord Jesus. If Jesus is Lord, you want to do what he says. You can't follow him unless you know where he's going. And so one of the ways to grow as a disciple is simply to spend time listening to the word of God, making that a part of your life. But the Bible talks about abiding in it. Jesus uses that term, which means to obey. The second thing he said, this is the way my father's glorified that you bear much fruit and so prove to be my disciples, John 15 verse 8. And that's in the context where Jesus is talking about abiding in him. That, that's a little bit uh, abstract to get our minds around, but basically that's talking about nurturing a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus. And that's talking about prayer and fellowship and our walk with him in an ongoing basis. And it's as we not only are in his word, but as we also are allowing his life to work in and through us by prayer, by obedience, that then we bear fruit. The fruit, first of all, of character, uh, the fruit of the spirit, but also the fruit of the impact of our lives on others. And the third one, I'm a little bit out of order here, but Jesus says, uh, we're to love one another. As I have loved you, love one another. This is the way all men will know that you're my disciples, if you have love for one another. So fellowship with other believers, not just enjoying their life, but loving them, pouring yourself out in ministry, imitating the Lord Jesus, is also part of how we grow as a disciple. We're not called to be lone rangers. We need the fellowship of the family, we need the nurturing, and we also need ministry into their lives. And so those three marks of a disciple, I think, tell us how a Christian grows. Grows by abiding in the word, grows by abiding in Christ, in prayer and obedience, grows by loving other believers uh, and carrying out the command of the Lord in those ways.